All right, so recently I discovered something in the full self-driving menu here. Let's go to autopilot, something called full self-driving visualization preview. And when you turn it on, here is the message that you get. Apparently, the full self-driving visualizations on the dash screen here can be more advanced. So I'm gonna turn that on and we're gonna go for a drive and see what it looks like. I'm excited to check it out. Yeah, I still haven't noticed anything whatsoever. I guess there's these new arrows on the road. There's some new arrows there. Those were not there before. Always fun. I'm going to turn on autopilot now that we're on the main road and it will just drive itself. Now there's a person on there and some construction cones. That didn't seem like it showed up as easily before. Let's see if it shows this group of people here. Yeah, it showed, it showed a few of them, kind of flickering in and out there. Okay, this isn't great. I might have to take over. Yes, I'm going to. But it did break, it didn't run into them. It was just gonna wait. Most people won't do that in that spot though. All right, needs the stripes back. There we go. Back on autopilot. So it seems like so far it's just these arrow markings that are new when you turn on the full self-driving visualization. I think it might show trash cans too because I drove a Model Y that had those visualizations turned on and it was trash day and everybody's trash cans showed up on the full self-driving preview. So maybe, maybe that's about all it is. What I was hoping was that it was the new like sort of dot rendered world that the autopilot rewrite has so the entire autopilot software stack has been rewritten and it looks totally different than this it looks like cars look like boxes in it instead of little models of cars and they change colors based on what the autopilot thinks that they're going to do like if they're going to be a factor for um, the car to have to navigate around or something like that and it's going to look completely different so I expect that when the autopilot beta is available for me that's what it will look like and rumor is that there will be a button in the settings over here in the software button or the service button there will be a little button that says download autopilot beta but that has yet to materialize and right now it's a stuff of legend so hopefully we get that soon well yeah this is a fairly boring video turns out it doesn't really change much when you turn on the autopilot visualizations but it's still pretty cool to see a car driving itself right i mean it's just driving me to the grocery store it's pretty amazing now one thing it won't do is avoid potholes so you really have to keep your eyes on the road in Nashville, potholes are like icebergs. It's like you hit one and your ship will go down. So you really got to keep your eyes out for potholes here in, in Nashville particularly. You'll notice that the Tesla navigation here 
it shows traffic congestion pretty accurately. I believe it gets that data from Google. And here it is stopping for the red light. But there's some more quality stuff coming to my channel. This is kind of a little experimental video. I wanted to see how it would look if I mounted my phone on a suction cup and recorded the audio from the lapel onto my new recorder. So this is more of a test than anything, but thanks for coming along for the ride. There's some much higher quality stuff coming to this channel. I've really invested in audio and this isn't even the full new audio setup. So I've got some Rode Wireless Go 2 um, microphones on the way so that I can get some high quality audio for my interviews as well as my videos. And I fully expect that that will raise the production to the next level. I'm also gonna start recording in 4K more because I can use my wife's Mac to edit it and I don't have to use the iPhone to edit it. When I had to use, do that, it was just, it was just prohibitive. Um, but thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. I'm going to go into the grocery store and grab some home style beer. Love you all.